Okay, so I want to record the solutions here for today's quiz le and lecture. So the first question is the two resistors uh, in parallel, and you add a third resistor. So you have this situation, R1, R2, and you add a third resistor, and the question is, does the resistance go up or go down? So this uh, this problem is actually best considered if you think about conductance, G1, G2, G3. And you know the usual uh, the usual equation for resistance is actually most easily understood in terms of conductance. 1 over G1 plus 1 over G2 plus 1 over G3. When you see looking, oh sorry, that's uh, 1 over R1, R2, and R3. What you see looking at that right away, so actually if um, we, uh, you can write that as G1 plus G2 plus G3. In other words, conductances add in parallel, just like resistances add in series. And so um, the total conductance of this is just the sum of the individual conductances. So the conductance, when you add this third resistor, the conductance can only go up. must go up. So that means that the resistance must go down. Okay. Now this next problem, we're looking at uh, a, it, we haven't drawn it the way you might be used to seeing it, but this is basically a voltage divider. A voltage supply and two resistors in series. So the voltage divider relation V out applies. It's just Vs times the ratio, uh, times the resistor across the output divided by the sum of the resistances. And you should have that by heart. You shouldn't have to do an analysis of that at this point. All right, then the last two problems are uh, if you're looking at a circuit element with I of T and V of T, we know that the power uh, the instantaneous power, I should say, which is a function of time. Let me write that in explicitly so we don't lose track of what's going on. Is equal to I of T times V of T. Now, we know that the energy, uh, the rate of change of energy is the power. So we can use the fundamental theorem of calculus and we can just note that the energy is going to equal to the integral of the power. But uh, the question is, what are the integrands and so forth? So if we want to find the energy change between time t1 and t2, maybe it's useful to just think about a, a graph of power versus time, and it's moving along and so forth. And there's some time t1 and some time t2. We know that the energy is going to be the integral under this curve because the power is the derivative of the energy. And uh, that means that we want our integral to go from T1 to T2. And then it's just a matter of writing that out in terms of, oops, I wrote T2 twice here. It's just writing that out in terms of I and V now because power is I times V. Okay. All right. So then the final question says if you look at a current source where the current is positive, I'm sorry, where the, uh, yeah, the current source has positive strength, what range of values is the V providing current? So um, we know that the, uh, providing power. So generally we know that power is greater than zero when an element. Power is greater than zero when an element is uh, absorbing power. So like a, di a resistor dissipating power, power is greater than zero for that. Um, when the it's providing power, power is less than zero. All right, now in this case, if we use the associated variables convention, I is equal to minus IS. So power is equal to minus I times V. 
but uh, sorry, uh, plus i times v, but i is equal to minus i s because they're in opposite directions. So that's minus i s times v, and therefore, as long as uh, as long as the voltage is greater than zero, the power will be less than zero. So th here the voltage is greater than zero. Uh, the device is going to be uh, sorry, I think I just, uh, let me just double check that. Power is current times voltage. Current is minus IS. Uh, therefore, we're asking first power is, prov uh, the device is absorbing power. For this, power will be positive. Uh, so we need V to be negative. Yeah, that's wrong. V to be negative. Then for the second case, power provided device, we, div we need P to be negative. So in this case, we need V to be positive. All right, so uh, you can see it's easy to get the sign wrong there. I almost did myself, um, and hopefully that clarifies the problem for you.